Australia's rock lobster capital, they reckon, babe. Well, so explain to me about the boats. What's ca what's going on, babe? I'll explain to you in a minute when we get out there, OK? All righty. You could have been a lady of a lot of wisdom if you had believed me the whole trip. <laughs> yeah. Lover's arch and, you know, everything. Half it was a lot of bullshit, though. No, it wasn't. I don't bullshit, babe. I googled lover's arch, babe. Just yeah. like the icebergs in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, they really are. Because <laughs> Rusty told me so. Yeah, because I told her so. Yep. How can you tell if it's blown up anything? Because it's only one fucking piece. Don't you think that's a stupid question? Do you want me to take my phone? Oh, look, I'll carry it. I'll do everything. I've done it for the last 30 days. Why do I have to stop now, babe? Fair call. Yeah, that's a fair call. So what do you think of that, Kimmy? That was pretty amazing. It's Fucking amazing, I can tell you. After I got over my... It's well worth the hike up here. So... Rusty's been crying. Oh, I've got a few tears, oh, mate. Oh, you have, look. <laughs> I've got a few tears, yeah. mate. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are in Mount Gambier again, aren't we? We've just come back from a beautiful breakfast, haven't we babe? Yeah. Half price brekkie. <laughs> that was the best part. Yes, it was very nice, wasn't it? And um, we're going to go for a little trip down to Port McDonnell, just to see what's down there. So we're going to fuel up first and we will catch you on the road. It is very beautiful up here, isn't it? I like that rock retainer wall and everything. Yeah. We're up on the top side of the Blue Lake at the moment, guys. And it is looking spectacular today. <laughs> very nice. But um, we're heading down to Port McDonnell. Oh, that does look nice down there today, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that over the railing there, but it is very nice. Right ahead on that gravel. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Well, it wouldn't be 110 up there. No, it's only 12 kilometres on gravel. No, not doing it, sorry. I'll take the long way. <laughs> <laughs> you can put your fucking indicator on. I know different. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, You've got no Henry back there. Uh, you know, I think I like Mount Gambia. The reason why I like Mount Gambia is it reminds me of Taz. Look at all the green fields and everything. Yeah, it does a bit. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And roads and everything, and then the, you're going past pine plantations and all this sort of stuff, farmland everywhere. Looks good. Yep. You're only 10 minutes out of the city and you're in... Well, you don't even have to go 10 minutes, do you, out of the yep. city. Yeah, all well, around there, five minutes, you know, riding or driving out, and you're back in the country area virtually. Well, welcome to Port McDonald, guys. Port McDonald is located 466 kilometres southeast of Adelaide. It's a port and holiday resort. It is the southernmost town in South Australia. It is surrounded by dramatic coastline and attractive parklands. Nearby is a cottage at Dingley Dell where Adam Lindsay Gordon, one of Australia's most famous 19th century poets, lived. Visitors come to the town to enjoy the exceptional lobsters which are caught by the local fleet and to walk the coastline which, particularly near the Cape Northumberland Lighthouse, is rugged and isolated. Australia's rock lobster capital, they reckon, babe. Well. How do you like that? That's what the sign says, guys. I can't argue with it, because I don't know. We've been on this seafood trail now for how long, and we haven't even had one yet. Yeah. I don't think I have a desire to have one at the prices they are. I'd rather a piece of bloody flake. It's cheaper. Yeah. More consuming. Better. Rock lobster. Freshly cooked. General store down there, the town. We'll go down here first. Have a little bow pick. See what's down here on the waterfront. 
lot. Now, look, babe, now I'll explain to you about <laughs> these boats, okay? Yes. Right, we're going to go to the right, okay? Look at that brick wall there. That's well made, isn't it? It is well made. They've actually made that because it's got wire around it. Yeah. So they're bloody faking things here at Port McDonnell, aren't they, babe? <laughs> So explain to me about the boats. What's what's going on, babe? I'll explain to you in a minute when we get out there, okay? Alrighty. Because there's no dinghies. Oh, look at that old building across the road there on the corner. That's cool. Mmm. Seems to me this is the um, the trip of jetties. Yeah. In a boat. That's what it seems to be. There's some dinghies out there. What boat? Some dinghies are out there. Yes, so there's probably some boats out, you reckon. Now, you see them big fishing boats. They come in, then they use the little boats, babe. Yes. To come back ashore. So that's where they moor the boats, okay? Yes. They're fishing vessels, okay? So if the little boats are in the ocean, mm -hmm. the fishing boats are out at sea. Normally, yes. Yeah, alrighty. Okay, then we're going to hop off here and go for a walk, guys. There's a boat coming in now. Is there? Yes, the there is. Side. Yes. Very observant. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise, eh, babe? Yep. What do you reckon? Nice. Yes. That man's got a rock lobster. Yep, okay, we're at Port McDonnell. We're going to go for a little excursion, aren't we, sweetie? Have a look around the a place. Jetty tour. A jetty tour. It seems to be what it is in a boat. Yeah. So this here, that leads up there up to the main street, doesn't it? Look at that beautiful old building over there. It's glorious, isn't it? Look at it. But that's been there for a while. And what's he got to say for himself, babe? Oh, he's got the waterfront. Get in there and read it for me, sweetie. This bespoke bronze statue depicts a 1950s fisherman following a southern rock lobster catch with typical fishing gear of that era. Deeped in history through generations of local families, the Port Macdonald lobster industry is an international producer of premium fine dining seafood. Ah, oh, don't touch him, he'll bite ya. He's a bronze. Yep, that's what we need. Some of them chuck you down the fucking bottom of the ocean. <laughs> hey? Is that weights? Is that what they were? No, they're boys, him. No. They're boys. They're depicted as being little boys, babe. Wow. Boys as in floating boys, babe, not, <laughs> not, not sinking boys. Okay, we're going to go yep. for a walk out the jetty, aren't we, as usual? Yep. And we've got a lot of cray boats moored in here today. That one there just going out, he was over there offloading stuff. Mm. Over that side over there, babe. Okay, we're out at the wharf, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah. Well, at the pier, end of the pier. And this is what we found. <laughs> All these boats. And you know what? Like a couple of videos ago, I had to explain to Kim what the little dinghies were about. Well, now she's believing me because that boat right there, there, has just pulled up there. And he's going to hop on his little dinghy in his way and come in. So now she actually believes me, don't yep. you? I learnt something new. Yes, and you don't think I'm full of bullshit now? No, I actually do believe this one. Oh, there you go, eh? Because I've seen it. A couple of days left on the holidays, and now she starts believing me. You could have been a lady of a lot of wisdom if you had to believe me the whole trip. <laughs> yeah, believe. Lover's Arch and, you know, everything. Half of it was a lot of bullshit, though. No, it wasn't. I don't bullshit, babe. I googled Lover's Arch, babe. Oh, babe, just because you couldn't find it, don't mean to say no one else can. <laughs> oh, what? And they're getting off in the dinghy, babe. They're yeah. going to get in the dinghy. Coming into town on the dinghy. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, world of knowledge, isn't she, eh? She's like a fucking sponge. She soaks it all up, the bullshit and everything. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> I, my mind goes like this, thinking, what's real, what's not? <laughs> there you go. Kim believes me now. There go the fishermen back into shore. <laughs> hey? I did. I did believe <laughs> that. Oh, no, she doesn't go. <laughs> Does should... that explain all your little dinghies at that other port? Yes. At where um... were we? Oh, well, the other port down the road. You, you've seen it on video, guys. Yeah. <laughs> non believers. Non believers. 
So this is Customs House. It was built in 1863. It was the only building of its kind in South Australia to combine the police station with four cells. It had a courthouse, post and telegraph office and a residence and customs office. Substantial additions and alterations to the complex have been made over the years, including stables at the rear that are no longer standing. The building was occupied as a police station until 1958. The building was developed on a grand scale, indicating confidence in the development of significant port facility. She can read, guys. Wow. She's done well, isn't she? Hey? Because it's big writing. Oh, OK. That helps. Well, there you go, guys. You know all about it now because Kimmy's told you so. That's right. That's because and... I told you so. Just yeah. like the icebergs in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, they really are. Because <laughs> Rusty told me so. Yeah, because I told her so. Yep. I told her there's icebergs in the Gulf of Mexico. She believed me because I told her so. That's right. There's a mine, isn't it, babe? Is that what it is? German mine. What'd they bring that home for, babe? Go Wash... and read the sign. Well, it washed ashore at oh. Port Macdonald on the 26th of October 1943. Oh, there it is there. How can you tell if it's blown up anything? Because it's all in one fucking piece. Don't you think that's a stupid question? Well, I don't know. I well, thought... if, it, if it's a mine and it blows up, what do you reckon you're going to have left? So it's a real mine and yes, it could blow up. Yes, deactivated. Right. How Go and read they... that and it will tell you. The mine is of German manufacture. It was washed ashore at Port Macdonald on Tuesday, 26th of October. Is that today? That is today. Yes. Bloody is today. That's today. <laughs> Woohoo! We found something significant on this day. Um, 1943, this mine was rendered safe and then dismantled before putting on display. The explosive in the mine was hexanite. It's six times more powerful than TNT. Bloody hell. When any of the horns were touched, it set off a series of chemical and electrical reactions, which in turn caused the mine to explode in two fifths of a second. The total mine weighed approximately one quarter ton. Bloody oath. So, do you reckon it's been blown up yet? No, they disarmed <laughs> it. <laughs> so these little things, if uh, something touched them, yeah. it'd blow up. So you see what you, you see my point, valid point though. It's all in one piece. It has not blown up. Yep. Right, that's okay. a fair call. Glad we got that one sorted, guys. I thought projectiles came out of yeah. here and then. Okay, we're going to go up here for a little walk, right. aren't we? Look at this. Look at the murals on this, guys. Kimmy's going to take a couple of photos of that. It's a bit of old stuff, like old Rusty. Oh, gee, she's hilarious, isn't she, eh? She's funny. Babe, when you're taking photos, can you get that building in the shot I'll for try. us? I'll yes, try. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, you've got to tell her that sometimes, guys, because she went to take a photo of the Sydney Harbour Bridge once. She said, where is it? Mm, OK. So that's how good she is. Look at that. That's all the way around the building. Kimmy's over there taking photos. Did you get it in? Yep. Oh, cool. You're going to take some of this side too, please? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> OK then, so, that is Port Macdonald. Nice little place, isn't it? Right here on the beach. Yeah. Not bad at all. So we're just going to hop back on the bikes here now and just go for a little ride up around here, aren't we? Most people See have. What's there. Most people have cats on their windows in the sun. They've got a pelican. So you got a pelican boat. Yeah. Okay. It's not a live one, though. No. no. Okay. So, say ya. Just been talking to these nice people for a fair while, telling us about the history of the town and everything. Very good indeed. Nice to meet locals. Ray and Cindy are their names. Ex locals, actually, the girl is in the pub. Yeah, it's very nice to talk, stop and talk to them. They pulled up next to us here, didn't it? Yeah. As we're walking back to the bikes. A bit of local knowledge. Yeah, always good. So apparently, we're going to go and see a what? A banana or something? And or? that mine we showed you on the clip over here in front of us, that old World War, World War II mine, her actually great-great-grandfather dragged it in, found it out there and dragged it in. 
That was him, so she said. And a babe. Yep. We've just got to believe what we what we hear, don't we? And the museum that we're about to go to belongs to her uncle. Yes. And the yellow Manaro, was it? Supposed to be hers? Supposed to be hers, it's a sword point. We haven't filmed yep. that yet, though. But we'll go along here, and then we're going to go back to the museum, aren't we, babe? Yep. This museum is located close to the coastal town of Port Macdonald. The private museum was established by Donald and Sheila Feast, both of whom admit to having a fascination with cars and history. In the beginning, they only had a few cars on display. In addition to the cars, though, there are also historical treasures that are quirky and interesting. This marvellous array of treasures includes incredible dated pieces which tell the story of bygone eras. At Feast Private Classic Car Collection and Memorabilia, it is not unusual to find television sets from the 50s, sharing space with old advertising signage, alongside unique key rings and even coffins for a dose of dark humour. And we had the great pleasure of being toured around by Donald Feast himself. Look at this place guys, isn't this unreal? Look at That's old... Captain. What's his name? What's his name, Bart? Uh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, is it? Look at this old this cool. truck up here. Yeah. Wow. It's marvellous, isn't it? We've got a collection of everything here, haven't we? Pretty good, eh? This is in Feast Museum at um, Port Macdonald. Look at all these cars and bikes. Look. What a collection, eh? Hello. Good, Good thanks. Bloody marvellous, isn't it's it? It's pretty amazing. Everything. That's cool. I know. This is cool, though. God, look at the cars. How long is this collection taken together? 12 months. I work quick. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you look young too, don't I? Oh, yeah, you, you do. look marvellous. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind you taking a pure. Yeah. But not yeah. pretty. Right, yeah. okay. Cool. Uh, Chevy. Blown Chevy. You got cars of all different shapes and sorts here in there, babe. Yeah. Oh well, that's up there. All the bikes hanging up there. <sighs> Thomas the Tank. We've got everything here. Old BSA. What is it? A side valve 550. Yeah, and the BSA here too. And we've got speedway cars here. Look at that. Little midgets. Buick. Oh, I bet you had one of those. Look, with the gears on it. It's absolutely incredible place. All the hats through here everywhere. Is that yours? What? No, mine was better. Bet you had the sparkly seated one. Yeah. I like these old Valiants, they look yeah. cool. Magnificent collection this bloke's got, look at it. Absolutely unreal. There is a bit of everything here in there, babe. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty everything. Look at that, will you? Just a collector of everything. Yep. Yeah. We've got a horse out here. Look at that thing. Isn't that nice? Oh, we've got old tellies here. You'll recognise one of your old tellies from when you were a kid. Look at that. Up there. <laughs> Big tricycle. Look at this. Did you find your dolly bar? I found my pram. Yeah? Right there, but mine had a little daisy on the top of it. Oh, right. Mine used to have a little daisy Is up there. Is it? Oh, old meat cart. Like from a butcher shop. There's just stuff here, absolute everywhere. You could spend a week in here looking, couldn't you, babe? Oh, yeah, and you'd never get everything. No, yeah. look at that. <laughs> yeah, he gives that. It'll yeah. be nice. All the... Nice and warm. Yeah. Hey, buddy. He'll take you away. Look at the signs of him. <laughs> Where he wouldn't be able to find it, would he? Cool. <laughs> Look 
Look at the big bike. See, there's river, proof. Isn't it? Look at that. There's proof of a dinghy. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Harleys, Indians. We've got everything here. This place is absolutely incredible. Really is. Look. There's just stuff everywhere. Everywhere. It's marvellous. In a babe. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really is. Look at this, guys. This is unreal. This place here is unreal. Another big gorilla. <laughs> Isn't this just an incredible place? Now that mural on the wall there, as you walk around it, those cars and everything just change position. The people there and that, and things look different everywhere, don't they, both? They do. <laughs> look at this. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> okay, then. We're going to hit the road, aren't we, babe? Bit for everyone here and there, babe. Yeah. Absolute unreal. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Yeah, Short it's amazing. words, we're about to run out of battery. Oh, come here, guys. Yeah. We are at Port McDonald, just out of Mount Gambier, about and 20 k's. Donald and Sheila's. Donald and Sheila feasts. I'll show you. There we go. Donna and Sheila Feast classic car collection. Fucking unreal. Unreal. Okay then, so we're just about to leave, and this place is incredible, it really is, isn't it, babe? Yeah. I mean, you won't see it on the camera or the pictures properly, but it is absolutely incredible. It's captivating. Every little yeah. corner you turn, there's something yeah. there. <laughs> the bloke that owns it is funny, funny bloke. Oh, he's a character. Yeah. Something there for everyone, in there, babe? Yep. He's um, a bit of an eccentric fella, I reckon. I must see if you ever come down this way in the oh, city. Ten bucks to get in. Yep. It's freaking amazing. Absolutely. You're better off come down there to see this than Port McDonald. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. That's how good it was. Anyway, guys, we're going to start heading back towards Mount Gambia now. Like I said, I just hope that camera, the video and um, camera work done it justice. Not a real lot of it. He doesn't like you filming constantly in there, does he, babe? No. But, and that's fair enough. Yeah. Hey, guys. See you down the road. Okay, so we're going over there to Mount Schenk. It's an extinct volcano. Well, they say they think it's an extinct one, didn't they, babe? Yeah. Mr. Feast. What's his first name? Donald, was it? No? Yeah, I think it was Don. Don, oh, I'm not sure now. Yeah. 
the, the owner of the museum told us, call him here and have a look. But he said something about he said a puff of smoke one night. <laughs> yeah. Turn off 300 metres, babe. I think he might have been drunk, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And what we were about to view was truly amazing. This blew my mind away and brought tears to my eyes. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want.